Welcome back to some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, everybody. And you know, it's been a few weeks since we've done a proper meme ship. So I thought we'd get back into that. And you may be looking at the top left and looking at the name of this ship and be wondering to yourself, why, why oh why, have you named this ship the Holzendorf's Mullet? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, those of you who may know a little bit about German naval history may know this already, but Henning von Holzendorf was a famous German admiral, one of the highest ranking admirals they've had in their history. Uh, he died right after the end of World War I, and he was the one who became famous. He proposed in a memo in 1916 the idea of unrestricted submarine warfare against the United Kingdom. So that explains the Holzendorf part, but why mullet? Well, uh, a while back, someone proposed the idea of doing a ship that had guns in the front, torpedoes in the rear. And I thought to myself, you know, that reminds me a little bit of a mullet. Uh, business up front, party in the back. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a ship that's got guns up front, part, uh, uh, torpedoes in the rear. Uh, we're going to armor this thing as much as we possibly can. And we're going to take on 10 battleships and 10 battle cruisers. We're going to see if we can sink all 20 ships. They're 1918 technology, so I'm hoping I can hold up against that with one 130,000 ton ship. So let's go ahead and start get the, getting this thing built up. All right, 35 inches of belt armor, 15 inches belt extended, 20 inches of deck armor, 10 inches deck extended, 20 on the conning tower, 14.6 on the turret, 10 on the turret top, 6 on secondaries, which we don't have, so that doesn't really count. We're going with the rangefinder, 5 that allows for quicker gun aiming speed, because we're probably going to go in close. They're not going to do much to me. Uh, all right, Holtendorf's mullet. Let's take it out for a spin. Here we go, 10 battleships, 10 battle cruisers of the British Empire, and go. All right, so I don't know how this is gonna work in terms of the game engine. It may not like it very much. Well, it looks like we're, we're sitting steady at about 34 frames per second at the moment. I don't know if that'll last. It's gonna take a while to turn this thing. Look how slowly this thing turns. Oh my gosh. I'm at five times speed and it's still taking forever to turn. Wow. How many? Okay, we've only got 400 shells. So let's, let's be a little cautious with those for the time being. As we're going to need to get closer before we can use those up. We do have 500 torpedoes. Well, as we're waiting to get closer, let's go. Oh, he's firing back now. Let's get a closer look at our ship. There you have Holtendorf's mullet. Hey, now. Causing little fires here. This is where the, the frames per second is going to start to struggle a little bit. Holy cow, look at all that. Wow, my goodness. All right, we're probably going to have to fire back. I mean, if I've got four, I've got enough for about a hundred, a hundred salvos. He's coming right at me. We may have to, may have to turn this a little bit so we can get those, let's get those 14s firing too. Yeah, just let your let your shots bounce off of me. Now he's he's firing H E because he knows that's really all he can do. But they're they're not just they're just not causing any damage. Anymore. It's like watching a fireworks show. Man, a little disappointed I haven't hit him yet. We gotta slow down. Oh, he caused some damage with a 13-inch gun. Look at that. Six damage, mid-deck penetration. He penetrated 20 inches of deck armor with a 13-inch shell. That's impressive. And meanwhile, I can't hit nothing. Oh, the torpedoes are in the water. They're way over there, though. That's kind of surprising. All right, let's start turning this way. 
Really wish I could manually fire the torpedoes. We hit the Royal Alfred. Oh yeah, there you go. All right, let's switch targets. Let's go after the Canada, because I think Royal Alf Alfred's dead in the water. Yep. All right, one down, 19 to go. I should probably choose different targets for the torpedoes. The Lord Nelson, look at that. So shift, right click, fire the torpedoes at Lord Nelson. My goodness. Now we're down to 14 frames per second. I don't even know where my torpedoes are at this point. Wow, look at all that. Oh my gosh. This is insanity. I'm a little disappointed we aren't sinking them faster. Looks like we got some torpedoes in the water, we do. Let's see if we can get something happening with that. We'll change targets now for our future torpedoes, go after the Agincourt. I think we'll go Go after this one here with our main guns. Wow. So much happening. What is going on right now? Look at how many shots are hitting me. That's crazy. I still have only sunk one ship. Let's see what's happening over here. Holtzendorf's mullet is on fire. It sounds dangerous. Feeling like I probably should have gone with triples up front with those guns. Get those kills a little faster. Oh, we're still going after the Canada with the, the 14s. None of our torpedoes have hit anybody that I've seen. I'm gonna switch to a closer target. See if we can score a quick kill. Wow, this is intense. I would love to know exactly how many shots I've taken. I did score one hit with a torpedo, it looks like. Got a thousand damage from it. I just didn't see it happen because there's so much going on. My goodness, this is crazy. Eight frames per second now. Three torpedo hits. I have no idea who they hit, but they don't seem to be causing sinking damage. You've got torpedoes coming at me. This is crazy, I've only sunk one ship. He's slowly wearing me down a little bit. Alright, I think we got the Penelope. Let's go after the Neptune now. There's two ships down, 18 to go. I'm surprised they aren't all running yet. We're gonna have to start swinging around on them. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Albemarle sank. That must have been from torpedoes. Yeah, we did get a torpedo hit right before that. It's hard to follow all the torpedoes right now with everything else happening. So that's 17 to go. I have to have taken a thousand hits already. Just about got Hercules. Oh my goodness, this is nuts. We'll be able to appreciate it a little more when we get him down to maybe four or five ships. If I'm able to function at that point. But yeah, I definitely should have gone with triples. I could kill these guys a little faster that way. Another torpedo coming our way. Not too worried about that. We've got a whole spread of torpedoes going his way. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to another target because those torpedoes will probably finish these guys off. Yeah, bring your torpedo on. Let's see what it does to me. Ah, it caused 4% damage. Lord Nelson's done. Let's go after Canada. one more time. I think Hercules is going to get nailed by torpedoes. Let's go ahead and see where those torpedoes are. Oh yeah. Definitely. You're done. Boom. Got him. Not quite dead yet, but this next torpedo will take care of that. Oh, it missed. Darn it. All right, we're starting to get a little spread out here. I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Oh, we're losing torpedoes fast. And we're down to only 270 with the 18-inch guns, too. So may have to start being a little more frugal what we're doing here. I'm going to slow down to two times speed for the time being. Alright, I think we got the how, yep. Who's next? We got the defense, indomitable, Achilles, Hannibal, there's two of them right here. What, what's going on here? Oh, they're running into each other. Resistance and Bellafron. And Agincourt over here. Could you imagine having a ship like this in the campaign? I mean, I'd never do this in the campaign because it's so ineffective to have all those torpedoes. I would definitely go with bigger guns, but you know. Still interesting to think about a ship that's this heavily armored taking on an entire fleet and just wiping them out. Be so prohibitively expensive though. This thing was like $260 million. These guys are starting to get far away now. It's going to take a while to swing back around and take them out. Land a, sh a shot on these guys and finish them off. So I'm down to 72% now. I mean, you can only take thousands of hits for so long, and even the best of ships, it's going to take some damage. All right, I think we got him. Go after the Agincourt because I think I think uh, defense is done. 
Yep, there it goes. Look! Look at all the fires happening on this ship. My goodness. Gotta love that 40 inch belt armor. All right, there goes Agincourt. I have no idea how many we're dealing with yet. I'm gonna start turning though. Indomitable. So what, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think there's less than that. I think that's counting the two that are sinking. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, so the, four, the fifteen count of the two that are still above water sinking. Thirteen to go. To get a little more manageable, but we've got to be careful on the firepower I've got left. All right, I got to start turning this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to try to turn down in between them. If I can be firing on both sides at the same time, hopefully. It's going to take a while to get it turned. Well, I'm thinking about it. Make sure you enter the contest. Uh, the subscribers have been a little slow the last week or so, so it's taken a little longer to get there than I thought, but we should hopefully hit that subscriber milestone this weekend, and if that's the case, we'll announce the winner of the first of the five keys that were given away for this game, hopefully. Maybe Sunday. If we hit that milestone. And then we'll start the whole thing over again. Everybody can enter once again. Alright, there goes Resistance. I'm going to start trying to go after some of these other ones. Lord Nelson's so close. Just one good hit will finish them off. got to get the turrets turning. Alright, there Oh, oh, hey. Don't, no, don't fire on Lord Nelson. I got a better idea. No, oh, darn it. Because <laughs> the torpedoes were about to do the job for me. We may yet be able to hit Britannia that way. Rule Brit Britannia, rule the waves. Britain shall never be slaves. He's going to get away from these. They're just not moving fast enough. Darn it. What about you, Redoubtable? Would you like to partake of the Feast of Torpedoes? <laughs> he spotted him. He's trying to get away now. We'll see what happens here. Oh, oh, no. I think I got you, buddy. I got you. At least one. Might only be one, but... Two. And three. Beautiful. Back to Hertz, uh, Holtzendorf's mullet. I want to call him Hertzendorf because I'm thinking of the general. Oh, hey, hello. Look at how close Achilles is. we got to be careful with that because... I'm still remembering my last battle where I got hooded up close by a battle cruiser. I'm about to take another torpedo. Oh yeah, how about we do the hooding? Yes? Beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at the torpedoes. No, don't shoot at him. We got a bazillion torpedoes going at that guy. In fact, we're out of the torpedoes in the three slot. Let's go ahead and see if we can take this guy out with this massive spread of torpedoes. I'm hoping that they'll spread out enough that he won't be able to get away from those at this range.
Oh yeah, we got him. There's no way he gets away from all that. Bye bye. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that was glorious. All right, so now we've got him on both sides. We got torpedoes going this way. We are firing. Looks like we're firing the 14s at one. The 18s at the other. We just got a ammo detonation with 14-inch guns. That was beautiful. We got two over here. I don't know why we're still firing over at this guy. Yeah, we got to keep our turrets going that way. So we got four on this side. I believe I've got torpedoes going that way. All oh, Northumberland went down fast. Where are the torpedoes? Thought I had some going. It's like a Mexican standoff here. We got <laughs> holding guns at two different people at once. The, oh, everything's firing at this guy. I'm gonna switch over off onto the Britannia. It'll probably fire now. Torpedoes aren't gonna be ready that soon. Get closer, Hannibal. You're only a kilometer and a half away from me right now. We'll finish off Britannia and then we'll real quickly be able to turn on Hannibal. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and hit him now. He's right there. Oh, torpedoes will do that. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, dude. No, not really sorry. Wow. Bye-bye. Good night. He hit me again, though. Hey, they've got me down to 60%. I mean, considering the amount of armor I've got, that's not... That's no slouch. way. Finish off Britannia real quick, then they'll all be on one side. I probably could have thrown some secondary barbettes on this thing so we could have a little more range of uh, turning, but that's okay. Oh, this is going to go fast because they're so close. Neptune and Agamemnon are right there. Let's go ahead and drop down to real time now. Could you imagine being this ship? 13-inch guns, only 22 shells left. And they're going to fire on a guy that's got 40-inch belt armor. Oh, they hit me with a torpedo. Gets me down to 58%. We're getting our turrets turned around right now. What in the world's going on with this? Is that even possible what you're doing right now? I don't think you're supposed to be able to turn them that way. Man, they're turning slow. In the meantime, it's just the 14s. Agamemnon. Here it comes. Our 18s still haven't gotten turned. There they go. Now those are the 14s. Got the angle on me at the moment. 18s will take care of that. I 
Or not. He's almost out of 13 inch shells. Torpedoes are on their way. I believe. Yep. So I think we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Neptune. Because I'm going to trust the torpedoes to do their job on Agamemnon. Although it looks like that's... No, nah, I guess those torpedoes are meant for him. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. He just may not be moving fast enough. Alright, here come the 14s. Nice. And the 18s. Nicer. And I do believe... Oh boy, I don't know. Now he's going, he's speeding up. They're going to miss behind him. Oh, that's frustrating. I needed, I should have probably gone with the uh, torpedoes that were a little faster. And less detectable. Although I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember what kind of torpedoes I have. Turn into him, Neptune. Neptune's down. Yep. Okay. That leaves two. Oh, the 18s and 14s are all going to fire at once this time. Still got a few torpedoes left. Not sure I'll get a chance to use them. So if you have a meme ship idea, let me know. I try to do those at least once a week. They seem to be the most popular videos that I make. And if you're a fan of any of the other series that I have going, those will be coming. Gonna finish up the Ultimate General Civil War series this weekend. Uh, all three of my jobs that I do, I have three different part-time jobs in addition to YouTube, um, are actually not going right now, so I'm gonna have a big reduction in income in the coming weeks because obviously you know, my main job, I speak in schools. Well, schools are all going to be closed. Uh, in Ohio and Pennsylvania, they're all closed for the next two to three weeks. Uh, a lot of other states are following suit. Uh, I also do music in nursing homes, and pretty much all the nursing homes, at least here in Ohio, are on lockdown uh, because of how dangerous uh, this virus is to folks who are older. Uh, so don't want to take any chances there. So my three different times I was supposed to play music this week for a nursing home, those are all canceled. And... Uh, and I also preach at a church on Sunday mornings, and that's also canceled for this Sunday. So, uh, all along the line, I just uh, have nothing going on at the moment. So, the more videos you can watch and let those ads run, you can support on Patreon. Those things are all very helpful. I appreciate it in advance. And thinking of all of you who may be in similar situations, because I know that this is something that affects a lot of people. So hoping for the best for all of you. Especially your well-being and safety and those you love. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one duel, folks. Canopus has not yet been hit and he has no 13-inch guns. He's completely out of ammunition. I'm down to just 128 of my 18-inch shells, but I really don't need those to do this. Here come the 14s.
Oh, we're gonna get some torpedoes in the water here. May not need them. It's gonna be interesting to see what gets them first. Oh, there it is, the ammo detonation. <laughs> All right. Let me know your thoughts. If you have a request for a meme ship or anything else, use that comment section below. Drop a like if you would. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.